Okay, guys, it is Friday night, March 16th, I think. 16th or 17th. I never get the exact date right. But what we're going to do this weekend is hopefully get this uh, chainsaw back together and running this weekend. What it is, it's an old uh, home light. I believe it's a super easy automatic. I'm not 100% sure if it's the super easy or not. And I'm not even sure what the difference between a regular easy or a super easy is. But uh, the reason I'm not sure is all the labels and everything are wore off of this. It's an, it's an old chainsaw from probably mid-70s or up. It does have electronic ignition, which is why I think it's probably late 70s, possibly early 80s, I'm not sure. Here's the electronic ignition coil on it or whatever. As you can see, it's got something that says... Oh, I can't see it without my glasses. What does it say on that little brown thing there? Sorry about this. Top add-on computer ignition Sydney Australia I don't know if that's an add-on or if that's original I don't think it's an add-on because when I removed the flywheel there was um, nothing there that showed that it used to have points or anything like that but anyway as you can see I have it all torn apart the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put the carburetor together tonight I'm going to take it apart show disassembly and hopefully the kit I ordered has everything there's the whole contents of the kit. I'm pretty sure I got the right kit. The gaskets in the picture matched what I <clears throat> what was in here. Uh, and what we have to do here is, well, let me tell you what I've already done. Uh, you missed it. I didn't film it, and I'm not going to take it apart and redo it. But I put a new ring on this. I had to order a new gasket, which it's it's the intake and the head gaskets. It's all in one gasket. Had a hard time finding that on the internet. Took a lot of searching. One website, I forgot which one it was, had it, and there's a bunch of websites that listed it, but set out of stock, so it's hard to find gasket. It could be easily be made if you had to, but it's all one piece, head gasket and intake gasket here. There's also an actual intake on this thing. It had two gaskets on this side, which I don't think it's supposed to have had. That might have been why... The saw was acting like it was acting. What it would do, it started up and ran good, had good power, but it would lean out after you used it for a while. It was a, probably a combination of old gaskets. These gaskets are kind of dry in here. You can tell they're old. And also, the old fill filter. I went ahead and tuck it off. I'm going to run it without one. I'm sure I'll get, I may get a little criticism over that, but when they get completely clogged, they give you trouble. <clears throat> I may eventually order a just a universal in small filter that will go in that tank but um, we did that and what else we have to do to it besides figure out how it all goes back together here's all the little parts oh yeah we have I had to order a drive case this original one was all messed up around the oil hole looks like somebody was beating on it which explains why it was leaking oil when it was running chain oil that is and this is the drive case I ordered I got it for 10 bucks everything looked good on it except one of the screw holes for the actual um, oiler the automatic chain oiler which is right here was stripped out I filled it with JB Weld I need to let that sit overnight in the house so that stuff will set up good and hard and hopefully that will work and hopefully I have the correct sized drill and tap for it got one from work I think it's an 832 is what the size of it is tap so the first thing we're going to do is disassemble the carburetor we'll do that tonight clean some parts and hopefully get it back together tonight if everything in this kit matches up Alright, hopefully I have all my tools handy and nearby to get this apart, which I've already, I kind of cheat on my videos, I already got this apart, I want to make sure I had the right tools to fit everything, and I just put every, threw this stuff back together loosely, so, but it'll still give you a good idea of the disassembly and what to expect. 
but we're just going to disassemble it and make sure all our gaskets match up. And if they do, we'll just clean it up and put it back together. And hopefully, I will be able to have this thing to figure out how it all goes together tomorrow and have it running tomorrow. Okay, here it is. I think these are two separate gaskets right here. See how that looks. I thought it was tore, but what it is, it's two separate gaskets. I may need to use this video to go back and reference how all this came apart too. So, okay, we're going to compare this. Looking good. Now that disc, I see bigger holes on the disc. I don't think that matters. We'll find out. Slight difference. We'll see if it works. But all the holes match up. Okay. Looks like they do. Yeah, I believe that goes on that way. It almost has to go that way. Ah, oh, that's the old one, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, this is a new one. Already getting parts mixed up. Yeah, that's going to match up. Don't worry, I'm not going to throw this back together dirty. I'm just checking. It is a really thin gasket. You've got to be careful with that. Okay. Yeah, that matches. I'm happy now. And you got this gasket, which is the actual plate gasket. Looks like the same thing. Good deal. And we got to take this plate off. There's a needle and seat in there, I guess. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. And here is my needle. I have a little clip. You can see it right there with my fingers pointing. I'm not even sure what that is just yet. I recognize this piece. It's a little filter screen which goes underneath the other plate on the other side of this carburetor. I don't know what this little bitty screen fits. I'm sure we'll find it. This little plate here, you got to have the exact fitting screwdriver. It was kind of hard to find a bit that fit it. Luckily I had some bits that fit this little ratcheting screwdriver that fit these. Easy to strip these out too. Other screwdrivers. I tried to get a bite on them and I wanted to uh, strip out the uh, top of the screw when you put your screwdriver in. See what falls out of here. Okay, let's see. I need something really small, I think, to pry this plate up. Hmm, that plate should lift out of there. I don't want to tear it up. Really don't want to do that. I don't want to wait and order more parts. I'm already being rougher than I want to with it. Let's see, I need to find a small screwdriver. Alright, let's see what this one does. A little bitty flathead one. If I can get underneath this plate without hurting anything, I don't see any other. There's really nowhere to get under it. Got to be a way to get to this. I don't want to mess up my needle. There we go. I got it loose. Probably stuck. Probably, yeah, it's a gasket. It was stuck. But we finally got it broke loose. stubborn. Too fragile to be forcing this thing. Yeah, my hands are in the way, aren't they? There we go. It's all came out. Oh, yeah. It's dirty in there, too. 
There's where that other little little screen goes right there. Okay, a spring. Which I think went on this. Or did it go there? I may have to find an exploded view of this carburetor. Surely that spring had to have been on the needle and seat. Okay, it's my little flashlight. And that's just, I was looking to see what was in there. There's the uh, points to the uh, air mixture and air and fuel mixture screws. Right there, let's see if I can get this little screen out of here. Is that the clip that I was wondering about? I think it is. There's a clip. It looks like right here. And my hands are going to be, let's try this angle. I don't want my arms to be blocking everything I do here. And I just destroyed that little screen. Good thing we got a new one. I'm not sure. Something down in here. Okay, yeah, that was the screen which we just tore up. No big deal, we got another one. That is not the clip that I was thinking of though. I'm not sure what that clip goes to. Here's a new needle and seat. Looks like they match up. This looks like a good ethanol friendly one. Not that I'm going to put ethanol in my chainsaw. They don't really don't like that. But no, that is not the clip that I thought it was. I'm, there's like a, almost looks like a rubber diaphragm down in there, which I don't have. So I better not poke too much in there. Or, I don't know what that is. I must need a magnifying glass to look in there. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now. Take this off. Okay, there's that gasket. Two gaskets. like if we throw it over flip it over this way it looks like the same thing lay them on top of each other match them up all right good deal that gasket matches and like this I didn't check to see if those match just yet This gasket matches. It's good. Now I've got two of these. I'm not sure if I need these round ones here. One of them goes here. Okay, let's go ahead and take this screen out. I'm going to make sure everything's out of this thing. I'm not sure where that clip went. It kind of looks like it goes here, but I'm not sure about that. Like I said, I don't really want to fool with that too much because I don't know what that is down in there. I don't know. Not sure. I think that is the clip. But I'm not sure what goes under it or what it holds in there. I'm almost afraid to mess with it. Take it out. That is that clip. See what it's holding in. Okay, whatever's in there, 
I don't have enough kit, so I better not fool with it too much. Yeah, there's a tiny screen that goes on top of all that. So, um, yeah. We need to be extra careful with that. I hear my dog barking at something again. Okay, well, that's pretty much all of this assembly. It looks like the gaskets I have match. So I'm going to clean all my parts and um, put it back together.